So, before starting the edit, here are some settings you need to do. Go to this gear icon. You can select the width and the height of your project file. I usually keep this at 1080p. You need to set the frame rate at around 29 fps if you are making an anime edit, which is what we are doing. Basically, you copy all these settings. Then you want to go to options and preferences. Here go to video, there is a dynamic RAM preview max and you can see a slider here. Select up to 45% of your total RAM installed. Go to GPU acceleration, you see the option here, select your graphics card and clip apply. Now importing the song we are gonna use. There is a little blue icon here and when you hover over it, it changes to something like this. Basically it's a audio fader or whatever you call that and you just slide it to the point wherever you want our audio to be. You do like this and you can right click over it and select the type of fade you want. I usually go with slow fade. So here are some shortcuts which will be useful for your editing journey in Sony Vegas Pro. So you see a beat here, you wanna click M on your keyboard and it will create a mark. Do this with all of your beats. You can also click F11 on your keyboard to make it kind of big so you can see the waveforms. I prefer it this way. We have got all of our beats marked. The next thing is to import the clips. If you are new to this, I would recommend using Twixtard clips. You can find it at my Discord server. Now, once you get your clip imported, so you can split by hitting S on your keyboard. Or to make this process simpler, you can just right click the clip and select Detect Scenes and Split. Okay, next step is to sync the clips with the audio. You just have to put the scenes right where we mark the beats, like this. And let me finish syncing up clips to the audio. So we got our clips synced to the audio and here's how it turned out. Now what you want to do is go to blur mukovs and drag and drop the default preset over the clip you want the effect to be in. Now we want to tweak some settings. First you see warp x, select this to reflect and warp y to reflect and the shutter duration around 0.8 something. Save this preset. Now we'll make some scales for the edit. So for this clip I want it to zoom out and then again in. So what I'm gonna do is select this cross over here and drag this to Sasuke. Now select this Z distance up to 100 or 400 and hit this animate icon here. Now go ahead a few frames according to the length of your clip and select this as 0.8. Go on around one third of your clip and hit this to 1. Select this both keyframes and right click and fast fade. You should end up with something like this. Now for the zoom in, go to the last frame of your clip and hit this fun you will get something like this now for the next clip you wanna add another blamo curve here you wanna turn up the value of the first keyframe to be 1.8 after a few frames you wanna set this value to 0.1 then around one third of our clip you want this value to be 0.8 we did a zoom in transition like this we're gonna do slight transition so for that you need to select either shift x or shift y shift x as the name suggests will shift your clips to the x axis shift y does the same to the y axis i'm gonna be doing x shift so animate this and move this value to around here i'll set this value to either 500 or my negative 500 depending on where you want your slide transition to be move this keyframe to the end of your clip and select slow fade for this. As you can see, now to complete the transition, you need to drag blur curves to this clip also. If your previous clips has value of 500, you need to set this to negative 500. Keep this keyframe up to around here and set it to zero. Choose fast fade for this one. So you will get something like this. Now we're gonna do a zoom out transition. So repeat the step from the first clip and you'll end up like this. Animate Z distance, zoom it out around 1.8. Right click and set it to slow fade. You get a smooth graph like this. 
so if you want to add a rotation to the clip you can also do that by keyframing rotation keep this keyframe around this and select the rotation direction so i'm gonna do like this so i'll keep it at around 50 slow fade in this too now to complete the rotation you'll what you'll need to do is select the blur mode curves and drop it to next clip and if the previous clip is positive 50 we're gonna set it to negative 50 hit the animate icon and move uh, about right here you wanna set it again to zero to complete the zoom transition and if you notice the clip is not only rotating but also zooming out so we're gonna continue that too so you need to set this keyframe to around 0.4 hit the key stopwatch and around here you wanna set it to 0.8 and around 0.1 right here I'm gonna set these both to fast fade we'll get something like this now we have covered the basics of scales i'm gonna do the same process in every clip now for this clip i'm not doing a zoom out transition instead i'll just fade it out like this just like we did with the audio you can see how it looks so for the next clip do the same process Okay, so we are done with the scales and here's how it turned out. Next thing we are missing is some shakes. So search shake and you will see s underscore shake right here. You wanna go and add the default one to your project. Now you wanna copy my settings for the shake and save it as a preset. What we're gonna do is keyframe the amplitude and go to the last frame and turn down this to zero. After three or four frames, change its value to 0.2 and enter. Select fast fade for both of them. Now your clip should look like this. So we're gonna do a Y shake. So for that you need to drag the same preset but this time turn down the value of X the random amplitude to 0 and Y shake to 0.05. Now animate the first keyframe, turn down the value to 0, put it at the last frame and after 3 frames or so turn this value to 0.2. I hope you got the concept and what I'm gonna do is go through the edit and add shakes, shakes I hope you got the concept and what I'm gonna do now is add shakes to every What we're gonna do is add glows For that search for s underscore glow you wanna drag the default preset over here and then and then turn down the threshold to around 0 and brightness to 5 animate the brightness and after a few frames about this turn the value to 0 and select fast fade for this your clip should look like this I suggest you to save these presets so save your time and make your editing efficient so i hope you understood how the glow works too now we're gonna add flickers s underscore flicker drag the default one use this preset and animate the amplitude like this to zero and we're gonna make this a smooth fade now we're gonna add a ghost shape to this clip right click here and insert a video track so you get a new video track and you wanna hit control plus left click and drag this clip like this now you're gonna select this photo frame type icon 
this will open your pen and crop window now what you're gonna do is go to the first frame of the clip make sure these options are selected and zoom it like this now go to the last keyframe and and make it more smaller select the first keyframe and make it fast fade it out select it to fast fade and turn this up. Was it i hope you guys learned from it i hope i was able to make myself clear and easy to understand we're gonna learn more of the editing stuff this was just basic guide through the software i've taught you how to make a basic edit for the next few videos we're gonna dive deeper into the more advanced stuff you can do like 3d text black bars we're gonna do some cool sfx and i'll try my best to teach you guys what i've learned since i started editing in vegas pro this was all it for the tutorial guys i see you soon again very very soon and karmi bahut yaar